In the video today, I'm going to show you how to create your own professional business or even personal website. For those of you that don't consider yourselves to be very techy, maybe you don't have much experience online, the thought of creating a website could be pretty daunting. But let me put you at ease. The video today has kindly been sponsored by Wix.com. They are probably the best professional website builder currently online. They've got over 500 customizable templates, which you can just edit simply using their straightforward drag and drop editor. I'm going to guide you through a straightforward step-by-step -step process, showing you how to create your own website. Now, even if you're a complete beginner, someone that has no experience at all, by the end of this video, you're going to be able to create your own professional website in about 30 minutes. Now there's going to be timestamps in the video today. So if you want to skip ahead to a part of the video, or even if you want to revisit a part just to refresh your memory, you'll be able to do that. Now, because I'm a professional photographer and filmmaker, this video, I'm going to create a professional photography portfolio. So I'm going to take you along with me in the video today, showing you how to do this step by step. So I'm excited to share this with you today, guys. Let's jump in and get into it. The first step in the process is to create my website account with Wix. And I'm going to use this link here. You should use this link as well if you're following along. And the link will also be in the description of this video. So make sure you click that there. First up, I'm going to hit start now. And then this is going to take me straight to the sign up process. Now, I don't already have an account, so I'll click sign up. So I'm just going to jump in, add in my email and then just make sure my email's right here and then also add my password as well. Now I'm going to click sign up and Wix gives you some useful options here to choose from so that we get the templates that we're looking for. So I'm going to fill in this little bit here, which will take a second. I want to create a site for myself. I sh it should be a, let's have a look, a photography site because that's what I'm creating, a photography portfolio. And I've never done this before. <laughs> so I'm going to click that and then we're going to get these bunch of templates which pop up in front of us right here. Now I want my website to be really visual because it's a photography portfolio. And most important, I want it to be user friendly as well. Straightforward for people to navigate. If you think about it, your website's actually a bit like your own shop. So you don't want anyone visiting your shop. You don't want it to be messy or hard to navigate around. So you want to get that right straight away. Now, I like the look of this design, but it's not quite right. It's a bit too clean cut. So I think I'm just going to scroll down and find a similar design where I can get like portrait and landscape images at the same time. And this one in the middle, actually, at the bottom looks really nice. I'm going to click on this and take a little peek at it. Okay, I really like the look of this, so I'm going to click edit. Now we're going to wait for this to load and the next page that I'm going to see will be the Wix editor. And this is where all the magic happens. So in the middle, you're going to see this video here. I'm just going to click that off. But underneath the video, behind it, you've got the actual main area. This is the website template that I'm going to be editing. And then you've got some really important areas. On the left-hand side, you've got some really important tools, which you've got so many different options and features here to choose from. You've also got the right-hand side where you can delete, justify, and change widths and dimensions. And at the top, these are also important features, but we're going to look at these later on. The first place I'm going to start is on the navigation of the website. And this is creating the areas or pages of the website that people will be visiting. I'm going to start by deleting some of these. So I'm going to get rid of journal. And that's because I'm not going to be using a page called journal on my website. Now, the three main pages I'm going to be using is portfolio, about and contact. Now, this work page is as I want it, but I need to rename it here. So I'm just going to click rename and then I'm going to rename this as portfolio. This is going to be my main landing page, which 
everyone lands on and sees these big, beautiful, vibrant images with. So next up, I want to change the other options. I've got an about and contact page, which I want, but I need to check if these are really the layout that I want. So this is pretty nice. It looks pretty good. It's quite straightforward, but it's just lacking something. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click back into the menus and pages on the left hand side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this about page here. And now I'm just going to add a page. So this is the add a page option at the bottom. And this is really important because you can add extra pages in here. Now, when I click this, I can see a bunch of options which have popped up and then you can choose from these kind of pages that you want to add. Now I want an about page. So let's take a look at the template options that we have available. Now, some of these look really good and definitely a little bit more going on than the original page I had. So I think, I think I actually quite like this one at the top. So I'm going to click on that, add page. And this is going to be my about us page or about page. Okay, click done. And now I'm going to actually just change this. So I'm going to rename it and make sure it's all capitals like the portfolio page. So just type that in here and then click done. Next up is my contact page. So I want to check how this page is looking. And when I click on it, click this X off. Once again, the page looks nice, but it's a little bit simple. I probably want an image behind this as well, just to make a little bit more going on. So I'm going to click on this here and then press delete and get rid of that contact page. And then easily again, just jump into the add page section and then just choose from the contact templates. So I click on the contact tab here and now let's have a look. Once again, I've got some different options which have popped up and I quite like that one. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that one there. I'm going to add that page. It's got a nice picture on the left hand side. OK, so now my contact page has been added in. Now it's just saying that your site is saved here and it's saying you can create a free Wix.com domain. So I'm going to do that now, probably with the intention to change this because I don't want it to be website or wix.com and then my website name after i want it just to have my domain name but i'm going to change this later on in the process so for now i'm just typing in ben taylor photography and click continue okay so finally i just need to rename this contact page so it's all capitals and it matches the other ones So that's brilliant. I've now got my navigation sorted for my website, my three main pages, and now let's go on to portfolio and then start making some real changes to this website. So I want this page to be bold, vibrant, simple, and I just want my pictures to really speak to anyone that's landing on the page itself. So the great thing about the Wix editor is anything that you really see inside the editor, you can click on and then you can edit it. Then I can click on one of the pictures and it says manage media settings. So anything that you click on inside the editor, you can manage or you can edit. So the first step is really to start at the top, isn't it? So I'm going to change this name at the top, click on it, and then I'm going to change it by editing the text. Now you can see this box pops up. You've got the header, You've got the fonts, you've got the size, and you've also got things like if you want it bold, italic, or if you want it to be bullet pointed, effects, everything you can think of, you've got when you click on the settings. Now, I want to choose a font for this, and I'm going to go through a few of the fonts to see which one looks pretty good. So I want something that's a little bit like a scroll or something a bit like a script font, but not too over the top and not particularly liking the look of that one. It might take me a few attempts to get this right, but it's important to get the right one at the top because this is gonna be the one that everyone sees if it's your name or if it's your business name. So just going through these, I actually like the look of this one, but as you can see, sometimes the font doesn't always look the same as it does when you select it. So let's look through a few more of these fonts 
and see if anything jumps out at me. Okay. All right, then I think I'm going to give this one a try here. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. So I'm just going to type in my name, Ben Taylor, and then this is going to be my font for the top. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could change other things like the size here to make it bigger or smaller. And it's really simple to do. It's just a drag or a slider. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is change the color. So I'm going to make it a dark blue, something like this, so it's not quite black. And then I'm going to click it off. And that is my name sorted. Really, really straightforward to do this. It's a simple process. It's not difficult at all. Now I'm going to click on this here, and I'm going to make this um, the text underneath my name. I actually really like that. So I'm going to choose this font. And what I'm going to do is just type in natural light photographer. And when I've typed that in, then I'm just going to click it off after. Now, this is important to look at because you've got switch to mobile view here. And the reason this is so important is because most people are now using their mobile phones. So throughout this process of editing this website, I'm going to jump into the mobile editor to make sure that it's looking really nice on that too. If most people are looking through their mobile phones, it looks great in desktop, but it doesn't look particularly good on the mobile, then you're going to be losing a lot of people's attention. So it's important that you have this feature in here from the Wix editor. It's a really good feature, actually, because on most other website builders, it's not something you can easily access. Or if it is, I find that it doesn't seem to kind of work in cohesion where your desktop actually looks good on the mobile as well at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to jump now into changing my social media settings. So I'm just going to drag this down here and I've got these little social media icons here. So once again, I'm just going to click on the box. I can quickly change this by just changing the social links here. So I'm going to click on set social links and then this is going to enable me to actually add in the different links to the different social media sites. I can delete these. Um, or I can also change the actual look of the icon where it says add icons here. I can add in different social media ones, but I'm going to delete this one here. This is a Twitter account and I don't have that. So I just want to edit the links for this Facebook and this Instagram icon. So all you need to do is click on the link button here and then just click on this link and then make sure that you've got it to hand. I've actually already put it in here, so I'm just going to copy and paste this into the editor. There we go. And now I can go ahead and click done. And that's going to have saved my link. So anytime anyone clicks on this icon, they're going to go right to my Facebook page. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for my Instagram icon and just add in the link for that too. And now click done. And that's it. So my social media icons are taken care of. That's literally took a few seconds. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click done. And that is finished. Okay, so if I wanna change the size of this as well, I can click on it and change the size, but I quite like how they're nice and small, not that obtrusive. So now I'm gonna go on to the next part of this, which is the most visual section, managing my media. Now these are some beautiful photos, but I need to get rid of them. So clicking on manage media, I can now select all of these photos here by just going up to the select all option at the top. And then when I've selected all of them, in one click, I can just then delete them. And these are going to get removed from my main portfolio page. Now I've done that and I've got a completely clear page to start with, I can now jump in and click add media and this is where I can get my own images here and then take my own images and then add them to the website. So I've got some options on the left hand side or I've even got an option under here to upload media and I can choose where I upload it from. So I can click the upload button, but first I need to choose if I want it from a site or if I want to get it from Wix or if I wanted to get it from another site. 
When I've done that, I can choose Upload Media and then upload it from my computer. Now I do also have all these options here as well. So I want to get it from Instagram, social media, or wherever. And then I'm just going to select all of my images in one go, making it a nice, easy process. And then when I've done that, I can just click open and they should all just open up inside here now. Let's have a look. They just load in and there we go. They're coming through now. So how this is going to work is these are all going to now display on the portfolio page. And when they've all loaded in, all I need to do then is ensure that I've selected all of my images. Now I can do that by just clicking the first one and then shift clicking the last one. So that selects all of them. And then I can just go ahead and then add these to page. Now you can see that these have all populated behind this box. So if I click done, then we're going to see all these on my main portfolio page now. And there we go. I've now got all of my images that I wanted on my portfolio page. And that looks really, really nice. It looks exactly as I was hoping actually. So it's nice and bright and vibrant. And you've just got these real strong images cutting through so people can just see this nice and clearly when they land on my portfolio. Now, I actually feel like the portfolio page is almost finished, but there are other options which I can actually access and change it with. I mean, if I wanted to change the background color of this page from this kind of plain white, I could choose background on the left hand side. And then I've got options. I can choose from colors, images and videos. So if I click on the color, section here, I can now choose from these different colors. If I wanted to get rid of that plain white color, I actually think this green's quite nice actually. But because I want my images to really be the showcase of my portfolio, I think I just want to keep it nice and plain, nice white background. I can also choose images though, if I want to, and I could add them into the background as well. But I think that's just going to be too much. So I'm just going to switch that off now, click the X, and then I'm just going to keep it as it was. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, I will have a footer, which is the bottom of your main page. And what I want to do there is I actually want to just change the text, which is there at the moment, because this is just standard text and I'm not Elizabeth back. <laughs> so I want to change it to my name. So just clicking on this and editing text once again, then I'm just going to type in my name and then just make sure that the date's correct as well. Because at the moment it says 2023, strangely, it's a bit weird. So I'm going to put in 2021. Then I think I'm just going to change the size a little bit. So just use this slider just to increase the size of this font. And I'm going to leave it at around about there. Finally, on the bottom left hand side, if I just drag this toolbar up, I can see that I've got more social links. It's good to have them there, but once again, I've got this Twitter one showing, so I'm going to delete that. And then I can just click done because I've already saved in my social links. Now, I like how you've got a guide here, which you can just drag it into place and it shows you how everything's in line. That's a really nice touch, actually. And I think that's it. But I'm going to jump into the mobile version and just check that everything is looking just as good in the mobile editor as well. And it is. Everything looks really nice, really catchy to the eye, I think, and it just looks really professional. Really happy with the way my portfolio page is looking now. Okay, so now I've done that, the last change I want to make to the portfolio page, and then I'm finished, is just to change the menu here at the top. Obviously the pages are right, but I just want to change the look of these fonts a little bit. So they just pop out a little bit more and there's a bit more separation. To do that, I'm going to click the add tab. Now this tab is so powerful in the Wix editor because you have so many different options. You've got all things like text, images, buttons, galleries, interactive content, blogs, literally anything you can think of, you've got it here and you can add it into your website. I just want to change my menu though. So when I click now on the menu tab, I can see all these different options which have appeared. And I'm just going to choose something that's quite subtle, 
but just has a bit more separation. This looks good here. So this has now popped up. So all I need to do is just drag this over to the header section and you can see this guideline which just shows me I'm in the right place. And now I've got that in place, all I need to do is ensure that I actually delete this section here because I don't want to have two menus at the top. So I could just click on the bin option here and that's going to delete it for me. And that's it. I now have my new menu navigation here. It's got all of the links still in the right place, going to the right pages. It's just a different design. So what I'm going to finally do here is I'm just going to drag this up so it's a little bit closer to my name and just make sure that everything is just a little bit close to the top. And you can do that nice and simply just by clicking on these lines here and just pulling the sections up like that. Now what I need to do now is I just need to change the font of this because at the moment it's different. And it's really important to actually keep the fonts the same or have no more than three or four fonts in your website. And that's to keep everything looking nice and similar because otherwise there's just too much going on all these different designs. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump back into the menu and pages section. And then we're gonna take a look at the contact page here so that we can make the changes to this page so that it's looking good as well. So I'm just gonna start from the top once again. So I'm click on this here and then I'm just gonna click edit text. And then I'm gonna change the font to the same font as what I've actually used in my name. I'm gonna use this as the title or the header font like that. And then I can of course just change the size of this if I feel it's a bit big. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit big. So I'm just gonna jump back in, edit text, and then just change the size of this to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and I think that's looking pretty good. So now underneath this, I wanna just put in my contact information. Um, so I'm just going to delete this and then add in some text. Now, I just want to check the mobile version here to see how this is looking. And this is displaying really nice. So if I jump back into the develop the desktop section, I can carry on now editing this information down here. Right next up, I just need to change this picture. And if you click on manage, you can actually go in and choose a picture from Wix. You can choose it from some stock images, or I can choose it from my site. So I'm gonna go ahead and click site and then use this nice picture, which I took when I was in Greece. It's a beautiful sunset. And I think I'm gonna use this as the side picture to my contact information. Now this is probably a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna choose the edit option. And now I can just copy and resize this. So all you need to do is just drag the corners of the image and then just resize it, it's really simple. And you can do this with all of your images that you've already loaded in. I'm gonna save that and now it's gonna display on the left hand side when I've clicked change background. And there we go. So I've now got my picture added in. I just need to click this off and then I can jump in to get in the information sorted here as well. So I'm gonna click on this, delete it because I don't need this bit of information. Of course, I do want to add in though my site info, like my email address, that's important. So I'm gonna add that in here. And then next up, I'm actually gonna just make this a little bit wider. Okay, now I'm gonna delete this first because there's a line in the way. So we can just click on that and delete the element. Now I'm gonna drag this over so there's a bit more space between both of them using the guidelines. And then I can just click on this and drag this out so it's a bit bigger. Right, next up, let's change this number and make sure that my number's in here. Now 
And there we go. So now I've got my contact information in here. I've got my email address and I've got also my phone number. I'm just going to change it to the text that we've been using. And then I'm also going to do the same for the phone number as well. Now there's a couple of boxes down the bottom or strips, which I actually don't need. But first, before I actually delete them, what I'm going to do is just get rid of these two social um, links or social handles, which I don't need. And then I'm going to just drag my Instagram and Facebook across so they're lined up with the box here at the top. Awesome. And that is job done. Right, okay, now just get rid of this opening hours here because I'm not going to be using that. So I'm just going to click on it and then press delete. So click on this here and press delete. And also I'm going to delete this map here. I don't want people knowing my exact address. I don't think I need that on my photography portfolio. So just delete that as well. And that's brilliant. So that's it. That is my contact page right now sorted. So I've literally got one page left and that's my about us page but let's just have a look at the mobile version to make sure that everything is nice and the same and that looks great really happy with the way that looks so time to go back into the other section here and then change it on the desktop so on the desktop i'm just going to click onto menu and pages again and then after i've done this i can then choose my about page Now I actually want to change where these two are. So I'm just going to click my contact page here and drag this down so that I can change the order, which is really simple to do. So on my about page, I want to change some of the information on that because currently it's this woman's information and I'm sure she's lovely, but it's not the right information for me. So I'm going to change this picture. I'm just going to click on this area here and then I'm going to manage the picture. Then I'm going to click on change column background and I'm going to choose an image and I'm going to choose an image of me. Um, so I'm just going to click on site files here, choose this image of me and then first I'm going to edit it because it's a real wide landscape image. I just want a square for this. So once again, just click on copy and resize and then I can drag the corners here nice and simple where I want them and then create this nice square shape. And when I've done that, I can just go ahead and save it. And then I'll have this image of me in the About Us page. Okay. Now just to change background, and that is job done. Right then, so I'm going to click this off, and now I just want to make some changes to the actual information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Hello and change that to hi I'm Ben or something nice and simple like that and of course I want to change the font but first I do need to highlight the text here so just highlight the text change the font to the same font that I've been using actually no I think it's going to look better as this font so yeah I'm going to use that font there which I've got at the top now this information I need to change. Now I've already wrote this out. So all I need to do here is highlight it, jump into my docs page here, grab this text, which I've already typed out. And then I can just add this straight in to the top here and replace it. And just change that at the start. And then that is all great. Now I've got some more social media links. All I want to do with these once again is delete the ones that I haven't got. So I'm going to click on this option and then delete this one and also delete the Twitter. And then once again, I can press done because I've got my links already added. So this is really starting to shape up real nice and quick now. And all I need to do is just really change my story. It's important to have a story in your about us page. So I'm going to put in a story so that people can check me out, see who I am, and just change that from there. But first, I'm just gonna change this text at the top and the size, so it displays correct there. Okay, time to add in my story. So, change the font, 
and now I can change this information here by clicking editing text and then just copy and pasting in the text that I've already wrote down here and then I can just paste this quickly in. Now that doesn't look how I wanted it to look so what I want to do with this is just highlight the text again and now I can change the size, make it a bit bigger and then choose the correct font and then this should display exactly how I wanted it. And there we go, looks lots better. Okay, so finally I think I'm just going to drag this box up a little bit now. Um, actually I don't want this contact box here, so click on that, delete it. And then just go to the top. And I think that is my About Us page done. When I've dragged this up a little bit, just to make it a bit closer there. Now, if I actually wanted to get rid of this grey, I could just change the background here by choosing a different colour. This dark blue is quite nice, but I think it might be a little bit dark. I may want a lighter blue, but let's check it out first. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to choose a lighter blue, so right-click on this, change background colour, and then I can just choose this lighter blue as the next option, and I think that looks good. So I'm going to choose this as my option for the background of my About Us page. Finally, let's check this out on the mobile now. And once again, this is displaying really nice on the mobile phone. It looks really professional. And anyone that arrives on this page will be really happy with the layout and how easy it is to navigate. Okay, that's brilliant. Now I've finished my website, I'm really happy with the look of it. It's time for me to choose my plan. Now it's important to have a look at these different plans to see which one is right for you. Now mine's a personal portfolio uh, website, so I'm not going to need a lot of information. I'm not going to need a lot of different features. But if you're someone that has a business website or an e-commerce website, you're going to be best looking at these plans here, which offer you more features. I'm going to jump though for this back into the website plans and I think the unlimited, which is currently 50% off, is going to be a really good bet. It offers me good bandwidth. I've got a free domain for a year. And also I've got 10 gigabytes of storage space. So I think I'm going to choose this one and select it. It's $4.25 a month down from £8.58. And that is a great place to start. Now that I've selected this, you get options here where you can change from two, three years, and you can save more money with the longer that you choose. You see monthly is £11 every month, and then when it goes yearly, it's £4.25 a month. That's what it works out to be, which is a big discount. So I'm going to choose yearly, and then that's going to be my option so that I get it cheaper. Now, finally, this page here is obviously where you submit your purchase. So I'm going to have to go in here and add in my card details. Now, I'm not going to show you that as you're not going to get to see my card details. Um, but I'm going to add these in here and then I'm going to submit my purchase. And it says, congratulations, your site is published. And here it is. This is my portfolio photography website. And I love it. Looks really nice and visual, simple to navigate easy to find out about me and you could just jump straight into contact contact me by phone or use this contact form here i'm really happy with the way this looks and yeah it's taught me about 35 minutes to create so that's super quick and that's how you create a website in about 30 minutes i hope if nothing else the video today has shown you that it doesn't matter if you've got experience or not you can create a website really comfortably and you don't have to have any background knowledge. You don't have to know how to do web design. You just don't have to have any experience at all. You see, sites like Wix.com are set up in such a way that you can just dive right in and start editing. Even if you're someone that's got lots of experience, they also have lots and lots of different features available for you so that you can advance your website if you want to kind of take it to that next level. I hope this video has been helpful and you've got some value from it. 
But most of all, guys, if you've got any questions that you want answering, I'm here to help. So just drop them in the comment section of the video and I'll jump in there when the video is finished. I want to thank you for watching the video today and then supporting the channel. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, just make sure it's a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.